Hey guys, Rob Hoke here. This is another one of my live, like, not live, but this is another one of my vlogs I'm attempting at doing. Um, like I said in a, a, another one, I don't really think I understand what a vlog is. I guess it's, I know what it stands for, video log, I get that, but, um, I'm, I'm, I have a lot of maintenance and, and, and installs to do this year on my boat, and, and for people who've watched the channel, you know, I don't, I don't, I've never had a boat like this before. I've never done any of this stuff before. And I kind of wanted to do it with you so that uh, you could see that it's not really that difficult a lot of this stuff. If you do your research, you follow the directions, you can do a lot of this stuff yourself instead of um, going back to the dealer and spending a lot of money. But um, today I'm doing, I have a, a GPS antenna with heading sensor. Um, the, heading se the difference is the heading sensors have that arrow and that's going to point towards the front of your boat. Um, and it'll give you that line even when you even when your boat's not moving I'm still gonna have that directional line on on my helix units, but um I did my research and I found a really cool tip that I wanted to share with you guys um, It's a very Handy tool that you're gonna need when installing one of these heading sensors to your boat and it is just a cheap little compass and the reason you need a compass is because your trolling motor at the bottom of your trolling motor it's got a huge magnet in that trolling motor and magnets and compasses don't play well together it's gonna throw your reading all off and if your re if your puck is sitting in an area where that electromagnetic field from the trolling motor can affect it it's gonna throw your reading from your GPS receiver off and then what's the point of putting a GPS receiver on your boat if it's not gonna be working properly so I, I, I read this trick and uh, it's pretty cool. So I have a regular old compass and then I have just a, a little compass app on my phone to verify my readings. Um, so we'll, I'll show you what this, what this does and you'll see how, how the trolling motor affects it. But you can see, hopefully you can see, that we're pointing it due north in this direction. But watch what happens to this compass as I get close to this trolling motor. You saw that how it took a, a, a 90 degree turn to the left and that's not what you want that if, if I were to put my my heading sensor here it's gonna mess it up so obviously this whole front portion is off limits and I'll show you again what it does so we have due north back to normal and then as you get close to the trolling motor it's gonna take that turn so we know these are bad up here is gonna be a bad location to mount this but back here seems to be pretty good and I'll verify with my phone that I'm somewhat on point here right here I have north pointing this way and then my phone's this way but my phone could be wacky so I'm hoping to get the puck right here that would be my optimum location and I just want to check for any movement oh did I have a little yeah that's that's off a little bit right there I wonder if it affects my phone too oh yeah so that's good that's really good It looks like I'm gonna to get to put it in the spot that I would like. Um, this is only the first part. This is kind of the prep phase um, because I can't really um, in, install it and, and, and start the operating on my unit because I don't have my batteries installed yet. So I'm gonna do the mounting portion um, and then I, I can prep the wiring and then I, I'll do the, I'll show you the part how I kind of enable the unit to start working with my my helix 10 unit that I keep on the front of the boat but so we'll get into this all, all I'm gonna need is a drill um, I've already read a lot of the instructions now this is my uh, this is my connector for my helix 10 and what this says is if this port was already being used it comes with it comes with one of these uh, Y 
connectors. And basically what you would do is hook one of your units to this and then this would actually kind of act as like uh, this would go into your graph and then these the heading sensor and then your other piece of electronics would get hooked to the other end of these. So it allows you to mate two ends into one port. But because of the setup I have right now, I'm not going to need that because I don't have any other any other piece in in the way of that. So I'll just be able to hook this up. I'll throw some zip ties on it. And you can actually go straight through or you can go um, Wow, they give you a lot of cord here. You can either go, there's two ways of mounting it, and I'll show you. You can drill a hole through through the location and put this on there, and then this will go, this will go onto that, and your cord will run under. But because I'm so close to my graph, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna slide the excess down in a hole that's already there and just attach it to this bundle. And you can you can it has these spots on the side where you can have the wire come out and that's that's the way I'm gonna do it because I'm right here I don't have to have it travel long distances I don't think I need this either do not connect to power nice so I don't need that either because my the helix 10s and uh, 12s produce enough power. They, they almost back power this heading sensor so what I'm gonna do is first I'm gonna install it in here Take this little bre this little uh, connector apart. Keep my screws. I want to make sure that when I put that back in, that I'm not going to uh, over torque that at all. So here's your. Wow, never had this open before. <laughs> so this is gonna sit here. It's actually pretty cool. This little connector thing. Everything just fits perfectly in there. And I mean that's easy. You can't you can't beat that. And this will get put back on. I'll flip it back over. Put my screws back in and I want to make sure I don't really I don't jump on this too much. So I'm going to turn my drill down just cuz I don't want to screw this up. I'm really just being lazy because I could just as easily walk 20 feet and get a screwdriver. But so now that's that's ready to go. That's hooked up and ready to go. I'm gonna actually back run this cord, a lot of this excess cord, into the hole right here, the hole right there. I'll take that plate off. Um, excess wire down into that hole because it's already cut there for a reason so I'm just gonna for now I'm just gonna throw all this stuff over there I'm gonna route my sensor this is probably gonna be my best bet right here and what well now this is the easy part I'm j all I gotta do is put two screws in this um, it comes with screws somewhere in here in this bag so I just need two screws out of here and there's two different types of screws. I don't know why there's two different types of screws, but I want the ones that are going to self-tap down into there. Um, you want to make sure your wire is coming through that little notch. And I want to make sure, I definitely want to make sure that this is pointing straight towards the front of my boat. I'm thinking I'm going to put it right there. It's going to be good for me. Front of my boat. here so I'm heading straight towards the front right here and this was far enough away from uh, this is far enough away from the trolling motor where it's not going to be affected and it's kind of out of the way this isn't deck space that I that I really need I just really want to make sure, I only want to do this once, so I really am trying to make sure that I am at the direct front of the boat. And I am, so, 
I'm gonna put this in. Hopefully not hit any wires. Now that I have one in, I can still turn this. So I'm just gonna make sure one more time that I am good to go in front of the boat. Put my other screw in. Might want to pre drill. That one's nice and snug right now. Check one more time. All right, we're good. There it is. Now my heading unit is nice. Nice and snug, not moving. Pointing straight towards the front of the boat. Now we'll work on uh, work on this wire. It's on my step right now. So I'm just gonna take all this stuff out of the way. I have plenty of zip ties I'll go get to run all this. So I'm gonna take these three screws out so I can get better access to the hole. these three screws out so I can get access to this hole. And then I'm just going to shove this extra cord down in that hole. All right, as long as I have, I would like to uh, find a way to get this wire to stay there without using like electrical tape or something. Because that would look trashy. I mean, I guess it's not really that big of a deal. I'm going to need a little more because I need it to come out of there. But I'll go grab some zip ties, make sure I have enough of this cord as slack, and we'll finish it up. Now we'll just put this back on. It'll be all pretty again. And I'll figure out how to dress that one edge up. That's it. It looks good. I'll dress this back up and uh, we'll be good to go. It's all, it's all hooked up. Pointing towards the exact front of my boat. After I get the, the batteries hooked up and my graphs back in, I'll, I'll do another video on how to go into your unit and enable this this feature but um thanks for watching guys we'll talk to you again soon thanks